YouTube. What is up? All right, now it's time to get to part two of my analysis of the Legend of Zelda Wii U gameplay from, um, uh, not from the Pokemon Awards, <laughs> from the Video Game Awards, uh, you know, last night. So I stopped off talking about the rock formation, um, with, you know, that were fought with the carvings from the original E3 trailer, same as those rock formations, and the same ones from the feature. So these these carvings are going to be significant <clears throat> in some way to the story. Uh, sorry if I sound kind of sound, sound bad on this. Uh, I do have a cold, you know, but this was way too exciting. I, I could not freaking pass this off. I was like, you know what? I got to make a video. I don't care how I feel right now. I have to make a video about this. So um, <clears throat> I did. <laughs> so yeah, so these carvings are significant in some way to the story. I don't know if they're indicative to the people who created them. Maybe they're ancient uh, Hyruleans. Uh, if this story takes place right after Skyward Sword, these carvings could be made by people or creatures that were here when the humans left. You know, so maybe this has something to do with some of the other monsters that Demise used in his army. You know, maybe there's another race of people who who came in after. Um, you know, between the time when Hylia sealed Demise and you know the people returned back to uh, to the surface from Skyloft, it could be any number of things. Um, but I believe that this involves you know a different uh, race that we haven't seen in Hyrule. You know, maybe one that's extinct by the time we get to Skyward Sword. I mean, by the time we get to um, Ocarina of Time. Alright, another cool thing we see in this screenshot is the shield. We actually get a, we actually get to see um, you know Link's wooden shield. I guess you know one of the early shields he gets, you know, before he gets you know the Harumian shield. You know, and we get to see it looks interesting here. Now there's a clearer screenshot. Um, you know, there's a clearer picture there where you actually get to see it looks like an eye. I mean, you see, like, there are lines drawn around the little circle part in the middle, and the lines coming from that. It looks like an eye. And it's, it's a similar design to, you know, the stuff he has on his cloak, which, you know, also looks like Sheikah designs. So, interesting, you know, interesting aspect right there. That, um, you know, maybe he's related to the Sheikah, and maybe the Sheikah play a big part in this game, since technically the Sheikah are extinct. Um, you know, maybe they were left on the surface when the Hyruleans uh, went to, um, when the Hyruleans went into Skyloft, you know, and maybe when they came back, the Sheikah were here and they, you know, were kind of dominant, you know, f you know, humanoids on the planet and there was a war or something to that extent. So there was a betrayal of some sort. So maybe the betrayal was the Sheikah, you know, turned on the Heruleans when they came back and didn't turn the land over. And, you know, that was possibly the betrayal that ended in, you know, their almost extinction. Next green shot, we have, I just put this one in just because it was freaking cool. I mean, it actually shows off the dynamics, um, one of the new things in the game, which is, you know, you being able to leap off your horse, like in the end of the trailer, and shoot arrows. Yep, you're able to, you know, leap off and, you know, do a bunch of awesome, like, you know, archery stuff. This is going to be cool. You know, unfortunately, it didn't show off any of these special arrows you get, like the uber-powerful one we saw in the, um, in the E3 trailer. But still, awesome stuff, though. Next one we have is a shot of, um, you know, Link riding Epona further through the forested area. And we see there's another tower. Now, I think that's why I'm thinking these towers are going to be scattered all across Hyrule and they'll allow you to climb them and just, you know, just look out, you know, and use, you know, just look out and check out your terrain. I don't know if you'll have to, you know, capture these towers like you would in Far Cry. But yeah, so we get another screenshot here of him riding. This one's kind of like in, you know, at the base of the mountain. Uh, and we see here there's weird rock formation. Now, to me, it, 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 it looks like a rock formation because it's, you know, it has the same horrible textures as the rest of the rocks in the game. But, um, 
it, it's weird though because it doesn't look like simple rock formation. It looks like a small castle or a fortress or some sort of building out of rocks. So maybe someone carved a building or something into these rocks. And, you know, it builds some, some significance in the game later. You know, um, there's a better shot of it next. Also, you can see on the uh, rock, there's a there's a, uh, a deer, I think. You know, so there's animals. There are more animals that you can actually kind of interact with, maybe. You know, maybe you can hunt them. You know, because, I mean, you wouldn't have, like, a bow and arrow in the game if there's no hunting dynamic. Every game that I've played in a while that has had a bow and arrow in it, there has been some sort of hunting in the game, with the exception of, like, you know, Last of Us, where there's no hunting in that. But, you know, things like Tomb Raider, Skyrim, you know, you can hunt, you know, animals. So maybe you can hunt animals in Zelda, Wii U. Alright, so we get down to the last screenshot that I took, and that's basically of him riding, um... Epona, you know, throughout the field, we get to see there's like a bunch of horses. You know, there is a bunch of, uh, um, there's a, um, I can't remember what they call it. It's not a pride, but there's a, a group of wild horses just kind of like riding out throughout uh, Hyrule. And also in the very far distance, you, you can see right in the middle of this where the light is, you know, there's some sort of, um, you know, some sort of uh, building or something. That's probably the big windmill thing we saw from the other trailer, um, or it could be something else. Uh, no, no sign of Hyrule, you know, anywhere, as far as you know, actually, you know, Hyrule Town, you know, with the, with the castle and everything. There's no sign of it anywhere. So I think they did that just to show how vast this game is. This game is gonna be awesome. All right, and there's a lot of other things in the trailer I probably missed, so I will be continuing to uh, continuing to analyze the trailer further. Um, you know, so expect maybe another one of these videos. You know, if I wa when I watch the trailer more to see if I missed anything. So, um, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, people, keep it real.